Biology is the hardest class I have ever taken in my life. It's far too difficult. Nestor Road is just a terrible teacher. The worst teacher I have ever had. And I cannot learn a single thing. And I, unless I get help, I'm, I'm going to fail the class. If I fail, I cannot graduate. Which would be bad. Don't worry, I can help with that biology problem. I, I just love biology. Been a biology enthusiast for years now. So what do you say? You wanna tour the cell with me? Yeah, I guess. Let's do it! Krebs here, here to talk about biology. But first, I'm gonna put a shirt on. <laughs> this isn't a shirt, this, I think this is someone's underwear. I, I don't know whose. I'll just leave that there. Kind of gross, but I'll put a shirt on, don't you worry. So biology, it's the study of life. And what's better to study of life than knowing about water? There's what we call the, the hydrophilic molecules and the hydrophobic molecules. They're like hydrophiles and hydrophobes. The hydrophobes, they just hate the water. They don't want to be anywhere near it. But hydrophiles, oh boy, do they love water. They can just drink gallons of it a day. It's like swimming in a swimming pool. Can't get enough of it. Another important question. How do we get water to the top of a tree? The rest of it's really boring, so I won't go into it. PO4. So what else is important to life? Well, there's carbon. Carbon's really important to life. It's got all the carboxyl groups to it. You know what I'm saying? It's what we call an amino acid and a fatty acid. Fat. Really fat. Energy. We need energy to live, right? I'm just full of energy. I'm like a balloon. But what powers this energy? Phosphate. Not to be confused with potassium. That's in bananas. But phosphate. It transfers things between inorganic molecules and the organic one. ADP, AMP, ATP, all of them. So, how is all this energy stored? There's really just two options. Lipids or sugars. Glucose, C6H12O6. You see the carbon in that one? So do I. The sugars, they're short-term energy storage. But those lipids, those are long-term. Real long. Let's talk a little bit about the cell. There's the membrane. Using the phospholipids. Lipids! What's neat about those phospholipids is they've got a polar head and a non-polar head. Hey, Tim! Oh, my! It's allergy season in here, all right. What I was about to say is a polar head and a non-polar tail, like a polar bear. You know, polar bears and penguins just love me some penguins. It's like money in the bank. So since water is polar, it's able to get through the membrane because of the polar heads. Those phospholipids are really neat. They're actually not that important. Next up, we've got the four founding fathers of biology. I call them lipids, carbohydrates, nucleic acids, and protein. I hate lipids. They're fat. Real fat. What's cool about the lipids is they're used for long-term energy storage. They're also used in membranes. Like a brain. Another cool thing. What nifty application of lipids are hormones and steroids. Next up, we have carbohydrates. Those are easily broken down into sugars. Those are short-term energy storage. It's they can either be triglycerides with the, the big kinky tails. Or the other ones with the straight tails, like butter. I don't know if that's true or not. I'd have to fact check that. If you know what I mean. Carbohydrates. Their monomer is monosaccharides and their polymer is polysaccharide. Carbohydrates, you think like carbs in bread. There's not really anything important about them. They don't store DNA or information like that or anything. Like nucleic acids. Those are some of my favorites. They're stored up in the nucleus of the cell. That's like the big brain of the cell. But most important of all are the proteins. Proteins will get you through your day. They're made up of amino acids. These are useful for ribosome production. Ribosomes are real cool. They're made out of, they're made in a smoothie arc, especially. That's the endoplasmic reticulum we're talking about. And proteins are really especial to the cell. Proteins are nifty because they're used for most things in the cell. You know, transport, building things, all sorts of stuff. Proteins are really good for enzymes. Let's talk a little bit about enzymes. There's the substrate. That's basically like a glove fitting right onto a hand or a nice firm handshake. You know, people's hands, they just mold together like the substrate. 
So, there are some more parts of the cell I haven't gotten through yet. There are the lysosome. If the cell needs to die, they'll kill it through apoptosis. They're like the suicide bombers of the cell. ATP is used all through the cell. And as we'll learn later, glycolysis and the electron transport chain really produce this in the mitochondria. We've also got the cytoplasm. It's like the jello in which everything's in. And last but not least, there's the cytoskeleton that provides anchorage to all the things. And it's layered like a lasagna. Boy, I could go for a lasagna. So let's talk a little bit more about enzyme. Chemical reactions. There are inhibitors and catalysts for these reactions. Let's talk about some of the things that affect these. You've got pH. If the pH is too high or too low, the, the reaction might have not happen fast enough. Oh, my, my, my throat is sore. Do you have a little water? And you need it to happen fast enough. There's also temperature. If things are too hot, then the reaction won't work. If it's too cold, it also won't work. There are also certain substances that can catalyze a reaction. This happens right at the active side of the substrate. That's really important. Let's talk about the nucleus. The nucleus's job is to store all the DNA in the cell. It's kind of like the, the powerhouse of the cell. The nucleus is kind of like the brain of the cell. And knows what's going on. Well, first, let's slow down a little bit. Let's talk about the smooth ER and the rough ER. They're completely different. Actually, they're kind of similar, but they're kind of different at the same time. So, smooth ER, well, I think that concludes today's episode. What do you think? Did you guys learn something important today? Yeah, we did. I'm glad this was so helpful. Oh, oh golly, man, I gotta whiz. I don't care if I fail, just let me whiz, man. Gee, golly.